Hi, I want to show you using your model kit to understand boat and chair of cyclohexane. After you build your model, you want to go ahead and have all of the carbons planar. You need to hold two bonds across from each other, parallel to the floor. This carbon, you need to pull up. This carbon over here, you need to pull down. And keeping these two parallel to the floor, or your table. And when you put this down on a table, when you put this down on the table, you should have three feet like table legs. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure these are exactly straight up and down. And I want you to notice that they alternate. This is down. This one's up. I'm going to make sure this one's straight up. This one's down, straight up. So it alternates where you have three of them straight down, three of them straight up. In fact, what's touching my hands right now are the axial positions, and the ones coming around are the equatorial. To convert it to the boat, I mean, I'm sorry, to convert it from the boat to the chair, go ahead and start at the starting position, start it flat, holding two of the bonds across from each other, pull both sides up in this case, and there you will have the boat. So how do you see the boat and chair with the Newman projection? I'm going to go ahead and put this back into the chair position. Remember, three down, three up. When you're looking at this model to better understand the Newman projection, this is the viewpoint you want. You want two carbons, one in front of the other on this side, and two carbons, one in front of the, one in front of the other on this side. So take a look at this. This is representing the Newman projection of the chair, and you can see how all the bonds are staggered. This is the model of the boat, and when you're looking at it from the Newman projection, this is the viewpoint you want to look at it, where these two carbons are in front of each other, so these would be the two circles, and you can see that all the bonds are eclipsed.